In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool feature that you may not be aware of just by looking at the basic functionality of XLOOKUP. And specifically, I'm going to talk about how XLOOKUP enables you to really easily create multiple values based off just one simple XLOOKUP function. And so here I'm using the same list that I've used in prior videos where I've got a list of people with their first name, last name, hire date, department, office, and compensation. Using a simple data validation form to make this easy, I've just created a, a list that a user can select the first name from. And let's say the user selects, in this case, um, Armani, the second person on the list. And in the past, in prior um, videos, I've shown you how to use XLOOKUP very simply. It says, give me a lookup value, in this case, Armani. And then, you know, give me, given a specific array where that name is, give me a return array. Let's say I wanna get their compensation. Or let's say if I wanted their last name, let's keep it consistent with what's in this list. You know, my, my XLOOKUP generates that last name really easily. And of course, if I wanted to do something like that for compensation, I could go over here and I could move this list and I'd get con uh, compensation. Now, what's amazing about the XLOOKUP function is I can actually avoid having to sort of define specific columns in the array. If rather than just selecting last name here, I grab the entire array, what's gonna happen as soon as I hit enter is all of this is gonna get automatically populated. And now I've got the name and it pulls everything automatically. So rather than having to copy and paste across, rather than having to fumble with different, you know, F4 to anchor cells and things like that that you would have to in an index match function or a V lookup that you'd have to build to do this, this just does it automatically. So it's a really cool feature really powerful and again you can imagine this replaces vlookup in a way where just in two seconds you can do work that the vlookup not only was error prone when doing but also generated a little bit more work okay i hope you like this lesson